Hello and welcome to Circulate by CDA with me, Stuart Aldis. Today we're going to be talking about mobile phone app development. So I get many, many questions from people. Do we do an app or do we just have a website? And the answer is, it's based on your business requirements and it's based on how you want the user to interact with your organization. So the main reason you do an app is because an app allows you to control the platform that the app is resting on. So I'm sure you've been on your phones many times and you've opened up an app and it's requested permission to your camera, to your microphone, to your geolocation services, to your image galleries. That is where an app works differently to a website because it can access the phone's features. So if you were doing a running app, for example, or a sport app, you definitely want to do it as an app because you want to be able to track where people are running. You need to be able to also use the fact that apps can work offline as well as online. So if somebody was running, for example, and they run through a tunnel and lost geolocation or, or Wi-Fi data or 3G data or 4G data, as they come out the other side, the app would have remembered where they were and synchronized it. So if you need the functionality around you that uses the phone's hardware and can work online and offline with synchronization, then an app is definitely right for you. Now, mobile apps come in two platforms. They're called native apps or generic apps. A native app purely means it works to one operating system. So if you've got an Apple phone, the operating system is called iOS and it's native to the Apple platform. If you've got an Android phone, then it's native to the Google development platform. So basically, if you write an app, a native app, it will only work on one operating system. Other people tend to go what's called a generic app, which will work on both platforms at the same time. The advantage and disadvantage can be weighed up and many people discuss that, but the main thing to realize is that if it is a generic app, it won't be able to use all of the phone features that a, a bespoke native app would be able to. When developing an app, you need to think about the functionality and you need to think about the user experience as well. If you've got a website, how does it link into the app? Is it synchronized? So if I've got a login on my website, does it log in on my app? And then that opens up a whole new subject talking about API integration. And API integration purely means two systems talking to each other. It's nothing more than that. We don't need to get more technical than that. If you'd like some more help or information about how to tackle a mobile app project or how mobile apps work or anything else, please feel free to contact me. Instant message me on Facebook or give me a call in the office. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has helped and please take care.